Right, I'm just gonna do a quick video. Well, I say quick, might take me a while, but I'm just gonna do a video kind of talking about new player um, stuff and what really you need to be working towards in terms of a loadout. Now, obviously you're not gonna have, as a new player, you're not gonna be able to counteract certain things. So what I mean by that, if they're pulling vehicles, you might not have lock-ons. If you're um, getting stomped by heavy assaults, you might not have a heavy assault to deal with the heavy assault because sometimes you need to pull a heavy to counter a heavy. Um, you might not have an, a vehicle load out to you know, man a vehicle, that kind of thing. Now, I'm gonna talk about things that you need to work towards or things that are good in game um, that give you, you know, a little bit of an edge. Um, I'm gonna talk about stuff that's more um, meta, really, what's meta right now and what you should really be aiming towards as a new player. Um, first of all, I'll say if you don't know what implants are, then you really should go away and research it. Implants can be found in the character tab. If you go to character, you click on any one of these characters, you can find implants. Now, there's obviously certain implants that are better than others, um, but the meta really, or the people that I see use the most, is Survivalist is really, really good. Uh, ammo printer for vehicles. Now, um, you get stuff like Athlete, on a heavy, that's quite quite useful. Um, if you're gonna hit headshots, obviously a simulate. Now, obviously I'm saying as a new player, so some, some stuff I won't go into, just because um, it requires a lot of skill. For example, if you've got headshot, if you're hitting headshots, simulate, new player, probably not gonna use it so much. Um, so you've got like response jacket, but really, realistically, the ones you wanna be working towards are survivalist, ammo printer for vehicles, and then uh, sweeper hood for vehicles and regeneration. Now regeneration is really strong. Now obviously you could use um, a medic to heal you or you could use medical kits, but I'm just saying if you're running around solo, um, regeneration is a good good thing to have. My loadout for engineer, my go-to loadouts really are Anti-infantry mana turret loadout, very strong. Very, very strong. You can you could sit this down somewhere, you could stop people from getting in a doorway. Um, most of the time, 99% of the time, I'm running this loadout. Now I've got an LMG, the reason why I've got an LMG is because I've reached level 100. At level 100, you can, if you go to my character, you can go to advanced specialization. Now it costs 10 grand to buy it, 10 grand inserts but you can buy a load of discounts and various bits and bobs. So like battle rifle, secondary, carbine access, etc. Um, LMG access is what I'm using. So if you're wondering. Now, as you look here, I'm using an LMG. Now, carbines are really strong. This is for mostly the NC I'll be talking about, but um, this will be for the NC, but yeah, carbines are really strong on the NC. One carbine that you want to be working towards is the GD7F. Now, you obviously need to learn to aim with this, but if you can aim really well, um, you can down. Now, you can't take on heavies. You can't go around killing heavies as an engineer, but you can take on most things with the GD7F. Bandit is also a really strong choice, and the ACX11. Now, that's just good if you can hit headshots. Now, I'm gonna, instead of going into everything, every little bit of detail, I'm just gonna kind of brush over stuff for new players. So, um, this goes, I'm talking about engineer first because this is the class I play the most. Now, one thing you want to be working towards is robotic tech. Uh, that's always a good one and regeneration. This is if you play engineer. Also, another one is survivalist. So you could work towards regeneration and survivalist. Now, obviously you're going to get level one versions of these. So you need to start putting your ISO you make into these. Really useful. Now, there's obviously loads here that you could use, but that's what I'd recommend. Now, there's an anti-vehicle loadout here. As you can see, I'm using um, ammo printer and uh, sweeper hood, which are these two. These two are go-to for vehicles. So if you're using a vehicle, you always wanna pick engineer. Uh, now, for stuff like bouncing Betty is really useful. Um, I'd say that's probably the most useful out of all of these. Hard light barrier, not so much. Um, medical kits can be useful. 
if you want survivability. But I'm talking about, um, if really, if you're picking an engineer, you're picking him for what he has available to him. So he can have a hard light barrier, you can, can pick C4, he can pick Betty's, stuff like that. You wanna be like tank mines. Tank mines are good, um, but I would stick to anti-infantry uh, bouncing beds. That's what I would do. Now, um, you could get a medical kit, but yeah, you're really picking an engineer for what he can bring to the table. Now, obviously you could pick a medic if you wanted, but I'm just giving you a, so what you one thing you want to work towards is a Spitfire auto turret. Now you obviously get the anti-infantry uh, monitor it first. So you could technically start working towards um, jockey and robotics tech if you really wanted to. But realistically, um, as an engineer, you mostly pick him for vehicle play. You're not really meant to pick him and go to the point as an engineer and start racking up kills. That's the job of the engineer. Um, that's the job of the heavy so now um, heavy assault wise there's loads of different loadouts you could go with now the general go-to for a uh, heavy at the moment is a simulate which is really strong and you could pick a simulate athlete you could go athlete and battle hardened which is this so they're their go-to's now um, Depending on what you really do, depending on, you know, like resist shield is really strong, but resist shield, I, I always feel that adrenaline shield is better. If you want a main heavy, you want to be picking adrenaline shield. Um, you want to get as many points into that as you can. Most people say to run nanite mesh generator at the start, just because you're broke, you've got no certs. But work your way up to Adrenaline Shield max level. Um, Tempest Shield, that's something I got from the... It's to stop the storm, I think. Oh, it, it stops Asylum Crystals, something Crystals. It's part of the... Um, when they did the update, they did a bunch of uh, stuff for the campaign. That's where I got that from. So if you see that, don't worry about it. It's nothing... You don't need it anyway. Now... You really want to be getting adrenaline shield fast as you can um, so yeah good things to use good things to use is a simulate athlete and you want to be using battle harden you could pick between the two just see what you like the most really um, you could pick regeneration but generally people who play heavy assault tend to use medical kits so you want to be getting medical kits as soon as you can and adrenaline shield so you most of the time you stick with a normal frag grenade you could buy a concussion grenade down the line they are really useful um, but generally you just want to stick with the nano weave and you know for this just whatever really ordinance dampener is really good um, if you don't know what these are these are tactical stuff you can get them for merit points that you can get from sanctuary so you need to go to sanctuary and uh, check that out um, i did a video on it about sanctuary so you might want to check that out um, but yeah guns wise now the default gun the gore saw is really strong now um what you want to be aiming towards really is something like the anchor really so the anchor's really good at close quarters um the gore saw is more long range now the gore saw is really strong if you can hit headshots with the gore saw now if you can't hit headshots, um, you're really at a loss with this weapon. Um, but as I say, um, it takes practice, and obviously, you know, you're not gonna, you know, you know, you're not gonna download the game and go around, you know, hitting headshots straight away. It takes time. Um, the anchor is really good, um, so I would, I would work my way up to the anchor. But the default weapon is really good. It's one of the best in the game. It's got really good damage. Now, what people tend to do is put a one-time sight on it, advanced forward grip, compensator. Um, secondary, you really just want a pistol. The, the standard mag shot pistol is a really good pistol, so don't change. Um, I have the thumper because of my ASP. Now, what you really want to be working towards is um, you really want to be working towards a lock-on. And you want to get lock-ons really as soon as you can. 
Lock-ons give you uh, lock-on capabilities against air and ground. Something like the Swarm is good versus ground and good versus air. Something like the Annihilator um, is also good. That can lock on to aircraft and armor, as it says. So I would, I would work towards one of these two, really, because you want to, um, you don't want to be getting smashed up by air. Um, air in this game is, it varies. People can pull air and there can be like five to 10 air vehicles, you know, flying around. So you really want to be getting the Annihilator or the Swarm to start shooting. Now, that doesn't mean that you should get it straight away, but if, you know, you want to get it sooner rather than later because it really helps out your faction, you know. Um, now I'm talking about NC in this particular case, but yeah, you know, when they've got mosquitoes flying around, it's good to crack a few shots at them. Now, heavy weapons, don't be tempted to go and get a jackhammer and a thumper. You know, don't work towards these. These are not worth it straight off the bat, you know. Um, stick with the standard pistol. Um, don't start doing all crazy stuff. Now, um, I talked about the engineer and the heavy assault. You want to be working towards adrenaline shield. Really, really good. But you want to stick with the nanite mesh generator at the start. You can put all your certs that you have left into adrenaline shield. Really, you want to get used to hitting headshots with the gore saw. Um, go into VR training, practice hitting headshots. You want to stick with the standard pistol. And although I'm using the decimator, I would recommend the swarm or the annihilator really to lock on to vehicles. You can get the decimator down the line. Um, it's really useful against infantry and 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 uh, vehicles in general, but yeah. So maxes, right. Um, so what do you want to do with maxes? Well, I wouldn't even entertain them as a new player because straight away they cost nanites to pull. Now, if you don't know what nanites are, um, if you look in the top corner there, I have 750 nanites. Now you see this circle. If you, I've got level 100 and then my name, which is Commando. And next to that, I've got 423 Daybreak. I've got Certs, which is 4,621. Just below that, I've got 750 um, nanites. Now these cost 450 to pull, 450 nanites. So I wouldn't entertain yourself with these. But what I would say is if you're going down the max route, you want to get emergency repair. Um, you want to get ordnance armor always. And for guns, I would recommend getting the scatter cannon, two scatter cannons, or I would get two Maddox, Maddox even, get the name right. For, um, for this, you want sweeper hood for implants and you want, you could run anything really. I sometimes run target focus or ammo printer, just depends really, depends what max I've got, but generally I will run Matix on my max. So that's what you should be working towards if you're thinking about going down the max route. Now obviously I've maxed that Aegis Shield and I was trying it out, um, really useful, but I don't use it all that often. I use more emergency repair, is what I do. Infiltrator, right. Now there's a couple of, there's a couple of ways to build your Infiltrator. Generally, I see Infiltrator as a bit more of a solo class, um, but it, you know, I mean, I really like play, I really like the Infiltrator. I think he looks good with his armor on and stuff. And I, th I like sometimes just picking Infiltrator and going around and killing everybody. Um, so with Infiltrator, what you want to do, or what I would recommend, is getting Hunter Cloak. Um, you can get Nano Weave armor and Stalker Cloak, but you really want to max out your Hunter Cloak. Now, what you want to do. There's two kind of ways to build. So first of all, you've got this sniper rifle. So let's pick a sniper. Let's pick the bolt driver. Um, I'm trying to think which one. Yeah, the bolt driver. So the bolt driver is a really, really good sniper rifle. Now, most of the time you'll cloak like that. You'll open up fire and then cloak again. You kind of do it like that. That's how, how it kind of works. Now. Generally, you go around, um, you, you could use the frag grenade, that's pretty strong. You want to work up to EMP grenades, because EMP grenades are really strong. Um, you want to work to med kits. Now, it depends really what um, loadout you're doing. 
there's loads of loadouts you could pick generally for me from a sniper class uh, loadout so this was a sniper class loadout um, I would pick um, something along the lines of like athlete and then I would pick um, I would either pick regeneration there's loads of ways you could build it so I'd pick regeneration or I would pick ammo printer because if I needed ammo or I would pick um, what's the other one I'm trying to find the other one I would pick assassin there's loads of different ways to build um, a sniper loadout really you could pick something like target focus target focus is really good um, gives you a lot of um, gives you increased hold when you're holding your breath when you're steadying your sniper rifle so something like that is what I would work towards now obviously you're going to need ammo so if you're around near a Sunday um, you could get ammo if you're not as I say, you want to be working yourself towards ammo printer. Um, that's always good. Now, what you want to be doing is you want to get Hunter Cloak to max. You could work yourself up to EMP, but frag grenade is really what people could use. They're not terrible. Decoy grenades, you don't want to get these. And this is from a directive, so you're probably not going to have that. So I'd leave that. Not that anyone uses them anyway. Um, but I'm just showing you knife wise the basic knife is fine um, i wouldn't entertain yourself now a good knife to use is the carver now i'll show you a quick tip about the carver now if you select the carver as you can see if you press i think it's up yep so as you can see i've activated the knife by pressing up on my d-pad if you swipe like that you will one shot the enemy and i am not kidding um, so yeah, just turn it off a sec, which is quite loud. But yeah, you will one-shot the enemy, so just find that out there. Um, this is a tactical thing, tactical slot. You, as I said, you get these from Sanctuary, but I always use a flash as a tactical slot. Obviously, that's personal choice. Generally, people use motion spotters. Yeah, you could use re recon detection devices, but generally people use motion. So you want to work up to that as well. Um, I think you already have one as standard anyway. Um, the pistol, you could use the standard mag shot. Um, pistol wise, I would look at getting something like a commissioner or you could get a pilot, the NS45 pilot. I think that's here somewhere. I don't think I bought it. Yeah, there you go, pilot. You got the commissioner. Commissioners are really good. Um, black hand is good at sniping but generally like you could look at getting something like this like the s uh the n ns61 now that's more let me just show you it's more of a mini gun really as you can see now obviously if you carry around a sniper rifle um, you're going to need a backup weapon very useful um, you could work your way towards that um, but really, people just tend to use the mag shot. Um, people just, I would stick with the mag shot. But I would work my way up to that. Um, obviously, you got different guns here. You could buy the pilot, the underboss and stuff. But guns like these, like the underboss, they require you to be really accurate with your gun. Um, so if you can't aim these, just looking to aim them now, you could go into VR on practice. But um, straight off the bat, they're quite expensive. And they're really awkward to use if you've never used one. So I would recommend getting something like the S, the NS60 uh, something, is it? What's it called? Yeah, the NS61. And there you go. I wouldn't put a sight on it or anything. I would keep it standard. And I would work towards that. Now, obviously, if you go down this route um, of sniping, becoming a sniper, that's what you do. Um, sniper rifle, you just put the straight bolt on normally. That's what I do, and it doesn't really matter with optics because if you put the, you know, a massive 10 times 10 optics or 12 times, generally you can't see that far anyway. You kind of, for some reason, my rendering is terrible. So, yeah. So, this is a basic loadout. Now, there's another loadout that people use, and this is this style loadout. 
Now this style of loadout is obviously different. Now you obviously have an SMG. Now let's talk about quick um, about SMGs. So the go-to SMG that people tend to go to is the AF4 Cyclone or the MGR S1 Gladius. Now the Gladius is really strong in close combat. Now the Tengu is really strong up close. Um, Blitz is good as well. They're all really solid choices. But generally people tend to go for the Gladius, the Cyclone or the Tengu. I don't see many people using the Blitz. The Punisher is really nice. Punisher is a really nice gun. Um, but again, um, I would focus on the Gladius or the Cyclone. I like the Gladius because it doesn't fast fire. As you can see. So I don't burn all my ammo within the first two seconds of shooting my weapon, you know. Like, um, if, you, if you struggle to aim, you're not going to miss, you know, it's not going to punish you for missing all your shots. And as a new player, you're going to be missing a lot. Just how it is. Um, second weapon you could have is the mag shot. I mean, the mag shot's a solid choice. Now, because you've got a good primary, you could have a secondary that's maybe a commissioner or um, you could have an underboss or a pilot because you're really pulling the pistol out as a second, you know, last resort type of thing. You're not running around with a pistol trying to get kills. You have a solid, you know, primary. So people tend to use the motion spire and medical kit. Now you could get nano armor cloaking, some I've been using, but realistically, hunter cloaking is good. Really, people just tend to use that. Um, stuff like this, let me just go into these real quick. So I use nano weave on my uh, SMG loadout, but if you were using a sniper, for example, um, what you could do is you could use adrenaline pump or you could use advanced shield capacitor. Uh, advanced shield capacitor enables you to get into cover and regen your shield pretty quick. Now this is good because if you're getting shot at from distance, you, you'll be able to take chip damage a lot better because you're not the front line enemy. Um, you're not front lining, sorry. The enemy is having to shoot across the map. Now they might shoot you and get the odd shot in, but it's really hard to kill you from across the map unless they're a sniper so you can duck duck and get back into the fight real quick so that's good um, adrenaline pump is a good thing to use i used to like adrenaline pump but really the 10 percent doesn't do all that much but um, i used to pair it with um i used to pair it with athlete and then i would go super fast around the map um, another loadout which i'll talk about um, is a knife loadout <clears throat> now a knife loadout so let me show you real quick so having your knife equipped is you buy using this stalker cloak now stalker cloak automatically makes it so you have to have your secondary equipped and you cannot use your primary even though it shows it it can't use it so stalker cloaking is basically running around with a knife and getting knife kills now, Vampire is really strong because it gives you 325. So if you go down this route, you're going to have to get Vampire. Um, Nightmare, not so much, but Vampire is a must. And I would also recommend our fleet. Now, for the knife loadout, I would use Nano Weave because it's really strong. And I would use Med Kits. That's what I would use. So, yeah. So, this is what it looks like. You pull out your secondary. You can't swap so as you can see i'm pressing to try and swap won't let me now normally people pull their knife out and they just go around knifing now with this when you go invisible you can crouch down and you will stay invisible so it never uncloaks you um, thing to note is that if you use hunter cloaking even if you stand still, it still counts down, regardless. Now, obviously, when you uncloak, it counts back up, but I'm just showing you. So, light assault. Now, with light assault, what you want to be doing... Now, most people go bruise or light assault. That's by using a shotgun. But you could use an SMG or a carbine. Carbines are really strong, so, like, the bandit is a really strong choice. 
Um, you've got the Tanto, which is really nice. The TD7F is really nice, so that's a good thing to work up to. Now, I will say um, that carbines are really strong. So the AF-19 Mercenary, which is the standard gun, is really, really strong. And I wouldn't feel the need to change that, really. I would keep the gun. It's just You've just got to learn how to aim with it. That's the problem. Now, you could choose shotguns. Shotguns or bruiser and claw are really strong. And the piston, really strong. SMG wise, people tend to go back to the Gladius or the Cyclone. Some people use the Tengu in close quarters. Now, um, there's certain loadouts you could use. People tend to go towards the Ambusher Jump Jets. That's what I've been using. So, what are Ambusher Jump Jets? So, you press the thing and you zoom in the direction. So, um, yeah, so people tend to zoom in the direction and fire their shotgun now the other one people tend to use a lot is uh, drifters now drifters are good with a carbine something like the bandit for example so if you've got the bandit the bandit is a really good um, gun to use with the drifters because when you travel around with the drifters as you can see my bloom in the middle there doesn't shift too much now let me pick, um, so if you're hip firing, it doesn't shift too much. Now if you pick something like, uh, let me try and find an SMG for example. Um, what about this? I'll pick this. As you can see, oh, look at the bloom on that. So if I'm firing my weapon, it's going to be going everywhere. That's not good. So people with the drifters will tend to use a carbine, something like the bandit. Because it's really accurate when you're hip firing. So you can go like this, you can hip fire somebody really well. So that's what you need to bear in mind. Now, what people tend to do is go ambush you. Um, you could just go frag grenade. People tend to work towards C4 if you're going down the light assault route because um, most of the time you're C4 in vehicles. Uh, you also have the rocket rifle, which I'll go into in a minute. But you want to get the advanced shield capacitor, or you want to get nano weave. Generally, the advanced shield capacitor is good um, for chip damage because you regen your shields really quick. Or nano weave. Nano weave is really good at taking uh, damage from machine guns, small arms, that kind of thing. Now, secondary, you want to stick with the basic mag shot. Really good. You could work up towards an underboss or a commissioner or you could buy the pilot really solid solid choice if you're wondering why I've got two pilots this is because I got one um, they had a thing on at Christmas I think where you could unlock a pilot the NS 45p pilot um, I don't know if that'll ever come back but I'm just putting it out there for new players because obviously they're gonna look and say why has he got two pilots now um, bandit really strong I would work up to the bandit if you're thinking about going drifters um, for ambushers I would go SMG I would go stuff like the Tengu um, Gladius really strong um, so yeah that's what I would do now for rocket rifles um, I would work towards getting the Typhoon rocklets um, I mean they're both a solid I mean they're both okay but um, type it. I mean, really, you want to be killing vehicles with it um, if you can. Killing maxes and vehicles, that kind of thing. So yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So with the medic class, now what you want to be doing with the medic class? Um, there's only really one class that I tend to use, and that's going around with either assault rifle or an SMG. Now an SMG could be like a Gladius or a Cyclone, or a Tengu. I don't tend to go towards the Blitz. I have unlocked it, but I don't tend to use it. The Punisher is also a solid choice. Now, one thing to note with the Punisher is that, um, right, I'm back there, sorry about that. I just had to go and get some water, because I was coughing. Right, so one thing to note about the Punisher is that it can have two um, things equipped. So as you can see, I've got Under Barrel Adaptive Class, and extended magazine now you could use laser sight but um, 
yeah, it's gone. You can have two classes equipped with this weapon. Now, what does that mean? So, you have to really read what it says, but the underbarrel adaptive class. Um, so, what that means is, um, so for example, if you're using an engineer and you use the underbarrel adaptive class, it will repair vehicles and it will give them 10% health. Um, with a uh, medic, it heals and clears some status effects. So what does status effects mean? So if you get stunned or you get EMP'd, you can clear these, um, you can clear these effects. Um, light assault uh, knocks back enemies. Um, so yeah, you just really read what it says, but um, the Punisher is a really solid gun. I would, I wouldn't use it so much for the actual killing power because I always feel like it's dead weak but it, it has an underbarrel adaptive class, which makes it really like good. It's good for teamwork. It's a good teamwork gun because you can heal your heal your allies and stuff. So as you can see here, I've um, I've got a suppressor. You could have whatever you want on it really, but I've got a suppressor and I've got extended mag and adaptive class. Because obviously the adaptive class is more why I use it. Now if um, let me show you quick actually while well, I've got it on so as you can see you fire it and it gives off a glow this dude here as you can see it's healing him now um, also one thing to note if you take the adaptive cl class off it becomes a regular grenade launcher so there you go so there you go so I'm just going to put that back on a sec and show you again and there you go so you get it the general go-to for medics now the standard assault rifle for the NC medic is a really good standard you know gun it's, it's just a really good all-rounder really uh, the NC1 goes off now if you're going to use this this is you don't really need to buy any other guns this is really strong what I would work towards is the GR22. Now the GR22 is a good um, close quarters weapon. Now I could go and do talk about all these, but I'm just giving you a, you know, I did a guide on the medic uh, class, what you should be building. But generally people work towards the GR22, um, but most people will stick with the gauze rifle. Gauze rifle being very strong. So yeah, it all comes down to hitting headshots and being able to hit your target. Um, what makes certain guns for NC very strong. If you can't hit your target, you're struggling, then it can be an issue. Um, so just throw that out there. People tend to use uh, nano regen. Don't go for shield recharging field. People tend to use nano regen. Um, people tend to use revive grenades. Don't go for healing grenades. Don't go for, well, you could go for frag grenades if you've got them. But you want to work towards nano healing grenades. Um, people tend to go towards C4 as a medic. Um, but you could get medical kits. Uh, nano weave is always a must on a medic. Very useful. So even if you get the level one of nano weave, it's really strong. Um, you wouldn't need to put any more certs into getting the next level. Really, you could just stick with the level one. Um, so I for. Just pick whatever knife you want really, just pick the basic knife. Um, and yeah, so one thing you want to work towards as a um, as a medic, you want to get combat surgeon as quick as you, as quick as you can. Now I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna go into the video, I'm gonna leave this character, go to a level one character and show you where you need to get all these from. Um, I should talk about this really, but combat surgeon is a must. Combat Surgeon and Survivalist, a great combination, really good combination. Now this thing I'm using currently is Revenant. It, upon being revived, it will cloak your, you or your allies. Now, um, I wouldn't use this, I would use Survivalist and Combat Surgeon. These are the go-tos. Now, obviously there's different guns and stuff you could use, but I would use the Gauze Rifle. I would pick the GR22 in time when you've got enough certs. When, but really, what you want to be focusing on is nano regen, and you want to get your medical applicator to max. C4 
same with engineer, you want to get your engineer tool to max and eventually you want to buy a Spitfire turret. They're very useful, but I'd stick with the anti-infantry mana turret because that is really strong. Um, the shield matrix pylon is something I got from um, the campaign, so don't worry about that. So yeah, so this is a general overall look. Now I'm just going to go and log into my other character. So just so I can tell you so just so I can give you an insight into what um, where to get some of the implants so you get ISO for winning alerts um, you can get ISO for missions um, I'll show you that in a sec but what you want to be doing with um, your ISO is spending it wisely, especially for the first time you play. So you don't want to be wasting all your ISO on random implants. I would try and get the implants that appeal to you. Now, obviously, I'll give you a rough guide as to what people tend to pick. Um, it's your choice what you pick, really. Um, but I'm just trying to give you, you know, you as a new player coming into the game, I mean, you've never really seen, you know, you see these people running around and you think, well, why would they pick that? Or what would they do, you know? So, you know, I hope this guide puts, points you in the right direction. So this is called the missions tab. Now you go to the missions. Now there's loads of different things you can do. You've got the Minesweeper and the, the GD22S. You could do stuff for guns. Now you want to be doing the ISO stuff. Now obviously it's not listed there at the moment, but um, let me show you real quick. So obviously I'm a level one, well, level four player. Um, these are all the implants I have. Now you're probably gonna to say to yourself, where do you get these implants from? Now, um, if you go, you click options, you, you've got my character and then you've got department. What you wanna do is go over to implants. And as you can see, I've got 91 ISO. Now you can buy these implants now if you buy an implant you have to upgrade it now that's for a separate video we're going to go into that but these implants this is where you find them so combat surgeon is 1750. as you can see in the corner the green stuff is iso 91. now for winning an alert you get 300. for losing an alert i think you get about 150. Um, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose if you just play throughout the day you'll gain iso you can get them from the missions tab um, so yeah you can also get guns from there as well from the mission tab but generally you want to stick with um, the level one so what I would recommend is playing medic medic is an all-round solid class and you will gain the most amount of certs if you really really have to play heavy assault if you really want to get good at killing if you really enjoy that I would stick with nano mesh nano nano mesh generator but I would eventually work your way up to max Adrenaline Shield. Adrenaline Shield gives you um, obviously some, some um, you know, shield capacity back. You really want to get it up to max level, really. So yeah, if you can hit, if you can hit your targets with Adrenaline Shield, you, you will be able to stay in the fight longer. So yeah, anyway. So I hope this video helped. Um, I'm not a YouTuber by any means, I'm just trying to help the new players. Um, don't feel the need to subscribe to me, I'm not looking for subscribers. I'm just trying to make the new player experience a bit better really. If, if, if you feel um, that you still need further help, you're still struggling, feel free to comment in the comment section and I'll try and help you out. You know, I'm trying to help a lot of new players out. If, anyone's, if anyone plays serious server and is really stuck with something, no matter what the faction, Feel free to comment in the comment section and I'll try and find somebody who knows the answer. Um, I've got to know a lot of people on the series over the years. I'm just playing and hopefully the community can come together. Um, there is a series Discord. Um, I'll try and link it in the video. Um, actually, if you ask for the series Discord in the video, um, I will link it for you. Because I think the link runs out after a day. So that'd be pretty pointless really if you come across this video like a week later but yeah so anyway guys i hope you're having a hope you have a good weekend and i'll see you soon take care